Hi, my name is Steve, and in the next few videos, I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks on how to create stunning images using Luminanio, as well as how to create cool effects for your photos. We're also going to be looking at some of Luminanio's time-saving AI tools as well. If you don't know about Luminar, it uses the power of AI to speed up your editing process, as well as give you a wide range of tools to create any mood and look for your photos no matter the genre. But its use of AI is where Luminar really stands out, with tools such as background removal, skin tools, changing the sky in your image and more, with a catalogue constantly updating. We'll be covering some of these tools and more in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. As for this video, we're going to be working with this image and apply a monochrome editing style. Monochrome has been one of the most popular editing styles this October and it's really simple and easy to do. Monochrome means that we're going to be using just one colour in the photo but we can use varying tones of that colour, that's no problem. So let's open up Luminar Neo and get started. So to get started with your edit, you can either drag and drop your photo onto the catalogue window inside of Luminar Neo or you can click add photos up here in the top left, find your file and press OK. Mine is just here. OK, so this is the image that we're working with. Now before you get started with your monochrome edit, you actually want to make sure that your photo is looking good in terms of its lighting, contrast, etc. before we start the colour edits. So opening up the develop tool here on the right hand side inside of essentials, just going to tweak these settings just a bit to my taste. Personally for this image, with the way that it looks, the wet streets, the tower in the background, the neon lights, I'm going to actually make a cyberpunk theme shot using the monochrome effect. So I'm going to make sure that my image looks moody. Now before we start with the colour effects, I want to see what colours are already prominent in my photo. We have reds in the neon lights, some yellows towards the back, but for the most part, blue seems to be the overriding theme. And that's going to be a good colour of choice for me for my monochrome edit. Now, before we get started doing any colour, we actually need to remove all colour to achieve this effect. So by opening up black and white inside of the Essentials tab, I'm going to click Convert to Black and White. And then inside of here, I'm going to make sure that my black and white image still looks good in its black and white state. So if you remember, we had the reds using the luminance tool. I want them to shine through a little bit more, the previous red tones. Highlight those. And then with the blue tones, can we darken those? Yeah, that's adding a cool effect. The yellows, we can bring those out a little bit as well. Perfect. So, from this stage now, we can achieve the monochrome effect in one of two ways. First of all, let's look at toning. This is inside of the creative panel here on the right. And with this being a, a nighttime black and white image, we're going to be working with our shadows more than our highlights. So I'm going to boost these up and you'll start to see the color come through. Oh, sorry, I was on my highlights there. So with the shadows, I'm going to boost these up and you can see that those are starting to come through. Highlights as well. What I will want to do is make sure that they're both the same tone. So 240 and there we go. And I'll just add more color into this and there we are, we're creating a nice moody monochrome effect. I'm going to go for a slightly cooler blue. There we go. And that's one way of achieving the monochrome effect. There is another way we can do it, so I'm going to revert my changes by pressing this reset tool right here. And I'm going to go down to the color harmony tool right here at the bottom, it's in the professional panel. Inside of here, I'll open up all the options, but we're going to want to work with the color balance first. And I'm going to try and achieve that same look. Now I prefer the color harmony tool and I'll show you why in a moment, but first I'll just achieve a similar color to what I had before. As opposed to the toning tool as well, we also get to control our mid-tones. Looking good. And now the highlights, just bring those through. So one of the reasons why I prefer the Color Harmony tool is because I can work here with Color Contrast. This is going to allow me to create some 
energy and highlights within my photo to make it really stand out and pop and that's looking very cool. You can also, depending on the color of your photo, you can work with the split color warmth tool and we're working with more cooler tones here so I can affect that color by dragging that slider across like so and I think I'm going to stick with that one just there. All right. Now if you wanted to make a more vintage uh, effect for your monochrome image, maybe you used a sepia tone, I'm going to stick with my blue tone for now, but we could also add some film grain on top and then add a more vintage effect to this photo if that's something you're interested in. You can also manipulate the, the grain in the image here by looking at the size and roughness tool. I'm going to go with smaller grain like that. Okay, so that is a simple and easy way on how to create a monochrome image. We looked at two ways to do it. We had the toning tool here inside of Creative. That was a quick way to do it and you can choose any color you want with the hue tool. The other way that we can do it is by using the color harmony tool inside of Professional. This one gave us a lot more control over how bright and vivid our tone could be and I personally think overall that this is a better tool to use if you're trying to create this effect. So I encourage you to go and experiment on this with your photos. Try this monochromatic look with any different colors. Try a vintage look as well. And when you're finished, upload your results and showcase them using the hashtag MadeWithLuminar and we'll take a look at some of your work. As for me, I'll be back again soon with some more quick tutorials. Bye-bye for now.